We continue to analyze Benko Gambit today. d4, knight f6, c4, e6, knight f3, c5, d5, b5. Benjamin Blumenfeld developed this continuation in the early 20th century. The idea of a pawn sacrifice is a radical development of the black queen side. Bishop g5, queen b6. More preciously here, e takes d, and after c takes d, h6. In the game was played queen b6. Bishop takes f6, g takes f, e4. b takes c with the attack on the b2 pawn. Queen c2, f5. Bishop takes c4, bishop g7. This natural move is a mistake. It was correctly f takes e, knight fd2, f5, knight c3, knight a6 with mutual chances. Now after the move bishop g7, white gets an initiative. e5, overlapping the diagonal to which the bishop operates. d6, queen e2, short castling, knight c3, d takes e, knight takes e5, e takes d, the positional mistake, which leads to the domination of white in the center. It was correctly bishop a6, d takes e, f takes e, bishop takes a6, queen a6, knight c4, knight d7 with equal playing. But in the game black moved e takes d, knight takes d5, queen a5 check, b4, sacrificing a pawn, White gets a temper for a castling and an attack. C takes b, short castling, bishop a6. Black threatens to win the knight. Rook a d1, rook e8, mistake. White moves queen h5. But even after bishop takes c4, knight takes c4, queen c5, knight e7 check, king h8, rook d5, black has a very difficult position. Let's go back to the game. After rook e8, white moved queen h5. Black moved knight d7. Queen takes f7 check followed, king h8, and queen g8 check. Queen sacrifice. Black resigned, because after rook g8, there is a smoother checkmate follows, knight f7. If black moves king takes g8, knight e7 check follows, king f8, Knight g6 check, h takes g, knight takes g6, checkmate. And now the task for an individual solution. Black moved knight d7 on the 18th move. Why didn't black take a knight, rook takes e5? Or bishop takes e5? Try to find a combination. The answer you can see below in the description for this video. See you!